breaking news out of Lima, Peru, where police say Joran van der Sloot has confessed to killing a woman there last week, reportedly after she looked up information on his computer about Natalie Holloway, the missing teenager from Alabama who was last seen with van der Sloot in Aruba five years ago. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is here with the latest. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning to you, Maggie. Well, we're told that van der Sloot confessed during a police interrogation, possibly in the hope of winning a lesser sentence. Monday, van der Sloot admitted to Peruvian police under questioning that he killed 21-year-old Stephanie Flores in a Lima hotel room. Surveillance video captured van der Sloot entering his hotel room with Flores on Sunday, May 30th. According to Peruvian news agencies, he told police he became enraged when he found Flores looking at information reportedly related to Natalie Holloway on his laptop. A Peruvian newspaper quoted van der Sloot's confession. I did not want to do it. The girl intruded into my private life. She had no right. I went to her and I hid her. She was scared. We argued and she tried to escape. I grabbed her by the neck and hit her. Van der Sloot left that room alone after four hours. Flores's body was found there two days later, her neck broken. Although van der Sloot previously confessed to involvement in Natalie Holloway's disappearance, that confession was deemed not credible. This time, his credibility or lack of it may not matter. Now, Peruvian police plan to take van der Sloot back to the hotel room to reenact the crime in the next few days. He could be charged with murder as early as today. Maggie. Elaine Quijano. Thank you, Elaine. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.